Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I have the flip the page challenge which was created by Jesse the Reader and basically this is me playing mash through my bookshelf. So I went over to Twitter and I asked you for three coordinates. The first one being on my bookshelf so whichever like section of my bookshelf. Second being a number correlating to a book on my shelf. So according to the prompts and the page numbers, I will create a new life for myself. So if you do enjoy this, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't. And let's just get started because this is gonna be long and I just wanna dive right into it. So the first prompt is to pick your first name. So according to the coordinates and the page number, I have to pick the first name I see as my new name. So the first coordinate is 6, 16, 333. So one, two, three, four, five, six is right here, which is some of the books that I read and some that I haven't. And what do I have to go to? 16. So the book I was led to is The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. And this is a memoir and I don't think this has 333 pages. So I'm just gonna go to the last page. And whatever the first I see is my name. And it better be a male name. Wait. Okay, so the first word I see is dad, so his, it's a, and then the next one is a name, and his name is John, so my new name is John. Honestly, I'm just glad it's not a girl name, and that's all I gotta say. Um, alright, next is my location, and wherever the book is set is where I have to live. So the next coordinate is 6767, and so that is back on to this shelf. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh oh. Um, so this is actually an anthology, so this is actually gonna work out going to page 67 because since these are short stories, they're all set in different places. So let's see. 67. So this led me to the story by Libba Bray, which is set in a movie theater, and so, um,. I don't know if there's like a setting particularly like okay so as I'm like looking it says Texas so apparently I'm going to Texas and maybe I'll live in a movie theater which honestly is cool because this is a haunted one and I love haunted stuff and so honestly cool I don't care. So the next prompt is my job and whichever page number I'm led to, I have to create a job from an object that I see or from the first object that I see. All right. The next coordinate is 2, 10 and the page five. I have One True Way by Shannon Hitchcock. I love this book and page five. Um, all right. Okay, so the first object I see is a brown paper bag. So I have to create a job out of that. As I'm thinking of brown paper bags, the first thing that comes to mind is making puppets out of them. So I'm gonna be selling some puppets. I will be selling them. It's great. Find me on Etsy and give me that coin. So in my brown paper bag business, I have a client who just keeps ordering them and we're gonna find out her name with the next coordinate. Next is 76269, and this is from Steph, and if this does not go my way, I'm gonna be really pissed. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what it is. And seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have The Bright Siders by Jen Wilde, and I have to go to page 269. I think that's like gonna be like the last page. No, it's not. Here we go. The first line says Emmy, um, an exclamation point, and that's dialogue. So, my new girlfriend's name is Emmy. Look out for the girlfriend tag coming soon. <laughs> Even though I am super alone. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Okay, so now we're gonna witness how I get the girl. Hopefully, whichever piece of dialogue that I get in the next coordinate is something that I can use for real life. <laughs> okay, next is 7, 13, 69. 69. <laughs> I have Kids of Appetite by David Arnold, and I have to go to page 69. <laughs> <laughs> 
But I'd like never not be funny. Alright. So orphans don't go to school. You gotta have moms and dads to sign shit. Plus an address. What would I write? Oh wait. It's the first, is it the first sentence? But this is like a long piece of dialogue. I don't know. Um, it says, so orphans don't go to school. You gotta have moms and dads assigned shit. Plus an address. What would I write? 11th house, oh, 11th greenhouse on the right. Maywood Orchard, New Mill. Okay, this is like too much. So I'm gonna be saying to my, I'm gonna tell her, so orphans don't go to school. So hopefully that's what swoops her off her feet. And she's like, wow, that was beautiful. Um. So orphans don't go to school, my new pickup line. That was actually kind of good. And you're like, so orphans don't go to school and then they'll be like, what? And then like, it'll be a conversation. So tips for getting girls from me. So the next prompt is me proposing and I have to pick the first object I see and that is what I'm going to propose with. This is... 516,234. I mean, 394 actually. So I actually could only get the 15 on that shelf, and the page number is 394. I don't even know if that's how long this is. So the first object I see. <laughs> is some wood. I don't even know how that would go. <laughs> What's up, guys? Um. This is the second half of this because what happened is I actually had a memory card issue where it filled up and then I never got around to finishing this video and then I filmed it and now the middle half of this video was gone so I'm just gonna do the rest of the second half of this video. So I'm gonna start where I left off. My name is John. I have a successful brown paper bag puppet business and I am currently dating a girl named Emmy and I just proposed to her with a log and that is how our relationship is going. <laughs> so now after proposing to her with a log she was really impressed and she actually said yes. So now it's our wedding day and I have to figure out what the first line is going to be in my vows. So Jesse actually sent me over some coordinates and I'm going with 1, 2, 33. The one is right over here. These are all the books that I've currently read or are just my favorites. So 2, I guess I'm just going to go in the back. 2 is this. The first line of dialogue is, didn't you see the stop sign? So maybe we had like a Peter K. Lara Jean romance where, um, I mean, apparently we met at work, but maybe like, she, maybe that's a joke where she didn't see the stop sign. So my first vow is going to be, didn't you see the stop sign? Maybe that's a metaphor. Like, I like, they told you to stop, but like she couldn't stop because she just loved me so much that like, she just never, she just never saw the stop sign. That's actually probably really problematic. Maybe our relationship is really problematic, but that's, that's it. Didn't you see the stop sign? The next pickup line in my life is didn't you see the stop sign? So next is where we're going on our honeymoon and Jesse sent me another coordinate, which is four, four, four. So four is right here. One, two, three, four is By Your Side by Casey West. And page four, oh wait, where is this even set? Um, so they're in a library. I just wish I knew like what like state they were in. Like honestly, I could go to any library, but I want to go to like a good library. So I just did a search on Goodreads and this book is set in Utah. So we're going to Utah from Texas to go honeymoon in a library. Honestly, that sounds pretty bomb to me and I'm not mad about it. So things got crazy at the library and we are expecting a child. So the next coordinates are going to lead me to my first child's name. I'm going with 5293. That's my graphic novel shelf. And two. Two is this one, Summer. And page 93. You 
first name I see <laughs> is none. There's no name. Let's see if 92 has anything. No. 94. Rose. So we have So I'm going to be having a daughter and her name is Rose. Jumping five years, Rose is now in school and I have to create the name of her school with the next coordinates. So the next coordinates are 7749. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is all the way down here. I have Bring Me Their Hearts by Sarah Wolf. I have to create a school name with words on the page. So let's see. I think that this is like a fantasy kind of book. So <laughs> this will be fun. Yo, maybe this means that Rose is a vampire or something. I love having a kid who's a vampire. Um, so I'm gonna call it, I guess, typical heartless, like second blood, I guess. No, maybe first blood. I think I'm just gonna call it um, typical heartless first blood, I guess. Um, I don't even think that makes sense. Oh, I just saw witches. Maybe I'll just, I think I'm just going to call it First Blood Witches. So it's like a school for witches. So Rose, you're going off to witch school. See you later. Um, <laughs> okay. I love how that I just like was so serious about that. Like, <laughs> fuck, I skipped one. So I actually accidentally skipped one where I have to pick a pet for my child. So if the page I turn to doesn't have a creature, I have to pick an object to be the pet. So I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with 579, which is my graphic novel shelf again. <laughs> this is probably not gonna have a pet on it. So this is actually a poetry book called Stuff I've Been Feeling Lately. I don't know if there's even gonna be a pet on here. But I'm going to page 9, and there is no page 9, so I'm just going to go to the first page, which is 11. <laughs> um, so there's no animal, <laughs> so there's no animal on this, but... Um, okay, so the only thing I have on this page is an object, which is a picture. Um, in my mind, when I think picture, I think like a physical picture. So let's say she just has a picture of a dog or something that she calls her pet. So <laughs> parenting at its finest. I'm a great parent, parent of the year. So next I'm going to create a YouTube channel while I am bored because my kid is off at school and I just keep making puppets from brown paper bags and I just don't have anything else to do. Like business is kind of not doing good right now. So if I could become a YouTuber, that would be great. So with the next coordinates, whichever page I turn to, I have to find an object on that page and create a YouTube channel around that. All right, I'm going with 116.19. So there's not even 16 on there, but the last book I had, which was at 15, is Simon vs. Homo Sapiens Agenda. I'm gonna go to page 19. And this is going to be interesting. So it doesn't have to be an object. It just has to be like anything. So the one thing I see is movie. This is like the page where Simon <laughs> finds out that like Martin is going to expose him. Um, and <laughs> so I see for the next few days at school after that, it felt like I was a character in a movie. So let's go movie reviews that's what my whole channel is going to be movie reviews but with puppets like puppet movie reviews could you imagine that would be so good i wonder if that is actually a thing because that would be amazing but so let's go i have to figure out what my channel name is going to be with the next coordinates so the next coordinate is going to be six 14, 333. If there's not 333, I'll just go to the last page. So using Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, I have to create my YouTube channel name. I don't think there's 333, so I'm just gonna go to the last page. So there is a couple I could have chose, but I am going with The Anticipators. So John's new YouTube channel is The Anticipators, where he reviews movies while putting on a puppet show. Him as puppets reviewing movies. 
So next, I have to figure out what John is going to say at the beginning of his videos. I'm going with the coordinates 1, 11, 111. Moving angles a little bit just so I have more room, but I'm going with the coordinates 1, 11, 111. And the page I turn to, the first piece of dialogue will be John's intro on YouTube when he starts his videos. So let's see. You have to be kidding me. So John is gonna start his videos by saying, I think I drank the gold. That's actually pretty cool. Like that's a sick intro. Like that's pretty cool. If you started your videos like that, somebody would be like, wait, what? And then want to continue watching. And honestly, I want to be John. Like John is pretty cool. He's living a great life. Okay, so now the YouTube business isn't really doing that well and puppet business is just really failing for John. So he's gonna write a book and so I have to create the title with words on the next page I turn to. I'm going with 5166. Why was my graphic novel shelf again? It's check please. Check please is one. 66. This is actually on brand for me because it's hockey. Um, oh my god. <laughs> I, I could do a lot with this. Um, okay, so this is a scene between Shitty and Biddy. <laughs> There's actually a hockey book called Thank You John LeClaire, so I'm just actually gonna go with thanks shitty because that is a line in this book and I could work with that. <laughs> John is great. Like this is a great life honestly. What a good book. Thanks shitty. Somebody would pick that up and be like wait what is that? Like he's a really good persuader. He is great at marketing. He is great. Next is the first line of thanks shitty. <laughs> I can't say that. It's like a straight face. I can't. Um, and so it's going to be 3, 11, 179. And the first line on that page is going to be the first line of John's book. <sighs> Yay, finally someone picked my arc shelf. So the first line of thanks shitty is going to be start at the beginning. Fire. Like bars. Bars! Okay, so now John is thriving, but someone is actually after him, a killer. And the next book I am sent to, the page I turn to, I have to pick the first name, which will be John's killer. And I don't know why I just did that, because I need to look at the coordinates. Four, twelve, 12, 157. So one, two, three, four, and 12. Uh oh. <laughs> this led me to The Summer of Chasing Mermaids by Sarah Ockler and page 157. This is a mermaid book. It's like a little mermaid retelling. So I don't know if this counts, but I mean, I guess it does because it's technically a name of somebody, um, but it's not like a first name. It's just like a nickname. So the first name I see is Grana, who would be like her grandma. But then the next name I see is Lennon. But I'm gonna go with Grana because that's the first name I saw. And a grandma is gonna kill me, so. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> like, what did John ever do to you? Grana is what I wanna know. Maybe she wants to take over his puppet business because she's like, I did this first and I don't appreciate this. So, John, you better hide your puppets and get the fuck out of Texas. Um. <laughs> So one day John was just filming a movie review with his puppets for his YouTube channel and Grana comes in and kills him while he's filming to take over his business. And the next book I'm sent to, the page I turn to, the first object will be the object that Grana kills John with. So I don't know if I've used this one yet, but I'm using 579. I don't think I used that one yet, so. So, this is Anya's Ghost by Vera Broskall, which is about a ghost, so we'll see. This pickup truck right here, you see him in the garage? Right here. I mean, that would be the first object, so. John, how would that work? 
So one day John was just outside filming a puppet movie review and Grana hits him with her pickup truck. <sighs> no explanation, she does she just does it as a hit and run, but they did catch her. Um and I hope that she rots in jail because that was just rude. Um, and I hope that she gets her license suspended and she can never drive again. That was just uncalled for. And so RIP John, he will be missed. And we're gonna keep his puppet business going strong. So last is what John is going to have on his gravestone and I'm picking the coordinates to 11. 397 and if it isn't 397 I'll just go to the last page and yeah um three is my graphic novel I, I already forgot so here's two I don't think we've been at two in a while um what is it 211 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. um and the first line will be what's on his thing and I actually think that this is 397 or close to it. So I have Leah on the offbeat by Becky Avertali and the last page is her acknowledgments and the last word the last line says keep resisting and that's what's going to be on his gravestone because John led a great life and he is going to keep resisting and so yeah that is the challenge. I really love watching these videos so I'm going to be tagging Bridget from Bridget Books, Magical Molly, I'm also going to tag Chloe from Brenna Bibley File, April Sarah, and Gwen. I don't know who has done this yet but I feel like a bunch of people have done it or are in the works of it but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and go and hit subscribe if you haven't. I also have a Patreon so everything for that will be down below. I post exclusive videos and it's only a dollar for you to get everything you'll get a video shout out and more so definitely go over to my patreon if you would like to support this channel and more of my videos thank you all for watching i hope you're having a great day and i'll see you next time